and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can get zero input delay on a low-end PC and I'm going to show you some of the best core tweaks which you should apply 100% to get less delay in Fortnite and of course also the best settings for low-end PC in order to get maximum FPS but still good looking game. If you guys enjoyed this, please don't forget to leave a like if at any further ado's. Let's get straight into this topic. And you guys, of course, in the first place, we're going to take a look at the best low end PC Fortnite settings because if you can get more FPS on your PC, that's actually the best way to get less delay. And as you can already see, guys, I'm playing on 1280 x 720, which is like the last option here under full screen. You 100% want to make sure that you're running full screen, guys, for less delay. And then we're also gonna go down here, and you can see now under graphics and quality, guys, that I get my 3D resolution set to 70%. Other than that, everything on super low, near, or just simply the lowest possible and performance mode, guys. And guys, I would really say 70% for your 3D resolution is really like the sweet spot to still get some decent looking game, but a nice FPS boost. So therefore, please make sure to try it out. And I'm going to show you some of the most important tweaks which you should apply 100% to your low-end PC to get less input delay. So guys, and in the first place, guys, what we're going to do is go into our Windows search bar and just simply type in keyboard so we can open up the keyboard control panel, guys, yeah? First of all, click onto this and then you can see here now under this guy's keyboard properties and what you really want to make sure that you have here under character repeat, your repeat delay on short, yeah, the shortest possible and repeat rate as well. It's sort of like make sure that you can really like spam your keys as fast as possible, guys. And trust me, it will make a difference. Once we're done with that, we're going to click here onto apply. Then it's going to load real quick. We're going to click onto OK. And then additionally, we're going to go into our device manager control panel, open it up as well, guys. And what you now here want to do is check for your keyboard and mouse. And it should be here on the top, guys. They can see now HID keyboard device. Just simply right click onto it, go into update driver and go into search automatically for drivers. Super important, guys. You can already see now the best drivers for your device are already installed. Then we're gonna go here onto the second one. Click here as well onto search automatically. You can see the best drivers are installed as well. Then we're also gonna go under mice and do the same one for all four of these here, guys. Really make sure that every single one of them is updated and we're not running any outdated drivers, guys. Super, super important. You can see here, obviously, I just did a Windows update recently, so mine are up to date. You can see no issues at all. And then we're also going to close this here, and we're already done with this step. So, guys, and in this next step now, I prepared for you here a file, which is going to be called Low End PC Settings. And once you open it up, guys, you can now in here see, first of all, Power Option Settings, Background Applications, System Properties Performance, and Disable Power Throttling. And you can get your hands onto this pack on my website, guys. Just simply click here onto FPS Boost. And then once you get redirected, there should be a post here on the top, guys, with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail as the video you're watching. Again, click onto it. And then you're just simply going to scroll down until you can find this download button, which is going to redirect you to Google Drive from where you can download this. And in the first place now, we're going to click onto Power Option Settings. Open it up, guys. And in there, we can now see here Performance and Energy, guys. And what you really want to make sure is drag this one all the way to the right side for best performance, guys, yeah? Don't leave it on best energy savings. That's 100% not what you want to make sure because, yeah, then yeah, like, your PC is going to be in, like, power savings mode and you're going to lose some important performance. And on stock, it's going to be here, like, in the middle, you know, better performance, but we want to make sure to drag it all the way here to the right side to best performance. Then next up, we have background apps where we're going to click on it and you please make sure to disable each and every single one of them, guys, yeah? You can see I let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting. We don't want that. Just simply a service running in the background, sending data, and yeah, this is just gonna decrease our performance of our PC and slow it down. Let websites provide locally relevant content. Also don't want that. Let Windows track app launches to improve start and search. Also don't want that. And show me suggested content in the settings app we also don't want. So therefore, please make sure to just simply put every single one here onto off, guys. And then we're also done here. Then next up, we have system properties performance. We're going to open it up here as well real quick. Click on the yes. And there we can kind of see like um, the performance options of any Windows PC. It doesn't matter if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11. And you can see now that we can click just simply onto just for best performance. And the only one which I really leave on is show thumbnails instead of icons. And then guys, for the other stuff here, something like show shadows under mouse pointer, we don't need that. Show shadows under windows, also don't need that. Basically like all the animations which make windows, basically like all the animations which make windows look super fancy are getting disabled, just providing us with better performance. Then you're gonna click onto apply and onto okay. I'm not going to do that, otherwise I'm gonna get like a refresh here since I already applied it. And then we're gonna continue here with the final one, which is disable power throttling, guys, which is just simply gonna make sure that your PC is performing at its maximum capacity. And then we're going to enable this registry tweak, just simply click onto yes. 
and then you're already done, restart your PC and return to this tutorial. And then guys, as a final tip, before we actually hop into a normal arena game to check it out guys, I can also show you now no ping as well has a turbo games function, which is going to improve your keyboard response and also boost your FPS. So therefore there's actually a no ping besides like selecting a server in your near, you know, for the least amount of ping here on Fortnite, you can also reduce your input delay and boost your FPS. So therefore this amazing tool, make sure to check it out with the first link in the description guys. And over my link, you can get by the way 20% off and I'm using no ping every single time when I'm playing Fortnite. And even if you have good ping guys, just simply hit the input delay reducer and the FPS boost are also so good here. So therefore let it run in the background and now we're actually going to hop here into Fortnite and try it out. Yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help me so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.